guys, if you're new here, my name is Jenna. I film a lot of productivity, lifestyle, bullet journal videos and vlogs, so if you want to hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. You guys, if I'm being honest, I literally had to wait 24 hours to open this with you guys because I got this in the mail yesterday and I just had to unbox it with you guys, but I have a full-time job as a consultant, so I had to wait. Now it's time to open up the third Archer and Olive subscription box. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, so if you guys are new here, I am a full-time consultant, as I just said, but I have such a big passion and love for bullet journaling, and you guys know if you've been watching my videos and my vlogs, how much I incorporate my bullet journal into my everyday life, and it really helps me prioritize myself, give myself some self-care outside of my full-time job, and outside of even doing YouTube too. I just love bullet journaling and everything about bullet journaling, and my favorite brand when it comes to bullet journal related things is Archer and Olive. I'm so proud to be an Archer and Olive affiliate. First of all, if you guys ever want to use my discount code, it's Jenna10 and it is an affiliate code so I will make a small commission if you choose to use it, but it's completely optional so you don't have to use it or anything. If you're just getting into bullet journaling or if you've been bullet journaling for a long time, Archer and Olive seriously just has the best products and not only do they have amazing products but just everything about Archer and Olive as a brand is is everything you could ever want. Archer and Olive is a woman-owned small business and Bonnie, who's the founder and creator of Archer and Olive, she cares so much about mental health and bringing joy to the world and spreading kindness and I think that's all you can really ask for in a brand and I'm ranting at this point about how much I love our channel, but we need to open up this box. I'll leave a link to all of my other subscription box unboxings for you guys so you can see how the other boxes came out, but this theme was desert. Oh my god, and I just can't wait. I need, I just need to see what's in this. I'm not on the design team or anything, so I had to refrain from watching all of the other unboxings because I want to open it with you guys, and I want you guys to see my real-time reactions and first impressions. Really quick, some logistics about the box. It's a quarterly subscription box, and that means that every quarter you'll get charged $70, but you'll get full-size products of a total value of, at, I think this box is actually valued at around $190 or $200, so you pay $70 that value which is just unbeatable. Also it comes in eco-friendly sustainable packaging which you can always appreciate. I honestly feel like every box since the first one has gotten better and better. I think those are all the logistics. I'll leave a link of course to more information about the subscription box if you're interested. If you want to unbox everything with me and get my full first impressions then let's just go ahead and get started. I love the color of the box first of all. This is actually a different color than the previous two boxes. Okay let's just open it. Oh my, oh, whoa, oh my god. Okay, I had a feeling from the sneak peeks. So this is what you see when you first open the box. The theme is Ethereal Desert. The info card comes with a QR code, which is really cool. And then on the back, it gives you an overview of all of the items and its prices and its value. Oh, that's really cute. The design team actually made its own blog post about, about the theme of the box, which is really cool. Okay, let's just open the very first thing. Oh my god, this is actually so much prettier than I expected it to be. I, I knew that there was gonna be some sort of cover. I didn't know what the cover was gonna look like. You guys know how much I love my florals and my botanicals, and just I love the earthy color scheme too. It says that this is an A5 embroidered notebook cover and its value is $45, and this looks so nice. There's a flap on the inside to put your cover. There's also a button clasp too with the Archer and Olive symbol. Wow, it's so pretty. Wait, that has to mean that there's an A5 notebook in this, right? Because I'm actually running out of pages in my current bullet journal, so <laughs> I really hope that this is an A5 journal. Okay, so what should we look at next? I'm gonna save the notebook for last because that's always the star of the show. But next, let's look at the washi tapes. Okay, so it looks like it comes with four different washi tapes and oh my god. Wait, these are so pretty. If you guys have been watching my vlogs, you know that I've been feeling kind of uninspired with my bullet journal lately and I've been kind of having trouble coming up with themes and doodles and just feeling inspired. I'm really happy this came out like the perfect time for me because these washi tapes, I'm feeling very inspired. I love just this color scheme also. It's not just desert neutral vibes, but I really appreciate that they added a lot of purples and blues too. So it's kind of like midnight desert vibes. So the washi tape at the top has some suns and butterflies and botanicals and some snakes. Ooh. 
I love also that there's gold foiling in them as well. That's so pretty. This second one is so pretty. It's a desert with some cactus and some moons and stars in the nighttime. It's so pretty. And then we have a pink and gold foil botanicals and cactus washi tape. I think this is so pretty too. Like I said, I love the midnight desert vibes, but I appreciate that they also added a light colored one as well. And then lastly, we just have the same color scheme, but it's just stripes, which I also really appreciate because sometimes you just want washi tape that doesn't have any patterns or anything and it just goes with the colors. And I think that that's exactly what this one does. I'm so excited about these. I think they're so pretty. I don't have, this isn't like the color scheme that I usually go for. So I feel like since it's different, but it's so cohesive, it just makes me want to use all these products. That was the washi tape pack. It retails for $11. Next, what's in this box? Binder clips. Okay, let's see what they look like. I hope they're like little cactus. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> so here's what the pack of three binder clips look like. I love that they're all different colors and they're patterned. And this is actually so genius to add to the subscription box because for those of you who bullet journal that like to take pictures of your bullet journal layouts, a lot of times you need binder clips to make those flat lay pictures so this is kind of genius and I think it's so cute they match really well with the washi tape there's a dark blue one with some snakes there's a rustic brown one with some botanicals and then we have a dark navy one with some moons and stars oh my god I actually really love these I love patterned binder clips it's just I feel like everything's really setting you up to make the perfect spreads that will go together so well. So that was the box of three binder clips and those retail for $12. Okay, next, what's this? Oh my God, it's a pin. Wait, guys, that's actually so cute. If you guys got the second subscription box, then you got the tote bag. And this is just the cutest thing to add to that tote bag if you want, or you can add it to your backpack if you're a student. You can add it to your nylon purse. I think this is a really nice touch because it's not very, it's not bullet journal themed, but sometimes you just want to accessorize and this is the perfect way to do it. I feel like I can add Archer and Olive to something that's like non bullet journal related, but it would remind me of the brand. And it's just a cute cactus. So that was the pin and it retails for $12. Next, what's this? So now we have this next item just comes in a craft envelope and I actually have no idea what this is. Oh my god, there's sticky notes. Wait, this is so cute. This is a pack of sticky note flags and it all comes in the same color scheme and oh my gosh, I actually wasn't expecting this. I love that each color sticky note flag has a different pattern on it too. So this is actually really helpful because kind of like what I was saying with the pen, you can use this in your bullet journal, but you can also use this in like your recipe books and any book that you're reading that you need a bookmark for. I think these are really, really cute. I think my favorite one, I think my favorite one is that dark blue sun because it reminds me of their Northern Star notebook, which I really love. It doesn't say how much this retails for. So maybe this was just like an extra little gift. I don't know. I don't know. So I can't tell you how much it retails for, but it was a sticky note pack. Okay, next let's look at the acrylograph pens. I think we've learned that the Archer and Olive acrylograph pens aren't always exclusive for the ones that come in the box, but these are just colors that go in line really well with the theme of the desert. I'll also show you guys swatches of all of the pens too, and I'll try my best to figure out if any of these are exclusive or not, but they go just perfectly in line with the color scheme of the whole box. So Archer and Olive has two different thicknesses of their acrylograph pens, and this is the thinner one. This is the 0.7 millimeter tip. These retail for $22. Looks like there's two notebooks, but but the last thing before the two notebooks is this ruler stencil. If you guys can see that, it's actually a ruler. So if you wanna measure anything out, I think that's really useful. And there's just a bunch of stencils for straight lines because for those of you that need the straight lines, this is the perfect guide to do that. There's a stencil for a moon, a sun, smaller lines, and then a rainbow. I don't know if I'll be using this personally just because I'm not, I'm not a stencil person, but that's just really a personal preference. It's always good to have one in hand and in case you need a stencil, it's just not one that I use in my everyday bullet journal life. Let me know in the comments if you're someone that loves stencils or not, because I'm actually really curious what like the consensus is. The ruler stencil retails for $15. Okay, let's get to the two notebooks. 
both. I'm so excited. Okay, ooh, so they're different sizes. This looks like the A5 size. It just brings like the whole experience to different levels, seeing the limited edition designs too to the boxes. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think that they're so pretty. Let's open the square one first. I just love this theme. Look at how beautiful this cover is. They really keep outdoing themselves. So this, oh, wow. Oh my God, wait, it's a, it's a notepad. Whoa. Okay, this is an A5 special edition notepad. Retails for $35. And if you look closely, there's different colors and they actually are the same colors as the theme of the box. I think that's so cool. So this is already really inspiring me because I can use this as like different backgrounds and stuff and kind of make my own stickers and, and just layer different things for when I use this. And whoa. There's a notebook for craft paper, but this dark blue paper and this forest green paper, that's something I've never seen before. It's gorgeous. Wow, I'm actually so excited. It's like, there's a hard back too, so it's actually really sturdy and you can see the preparations for when you wanna tear one out. I've never had a notepad before and I'm actually so excited to use this and put this in my bullet journal. I think notepads are perfect because you can just practice on them too and you don't have to feel like you're making any mistakes or you're like bound to what you write in it because they just rip away and they're all separate sheets. So, wow, oh my God, I'm so excited to use it. Okay, and then lastly for this box, we have the A5 journal and you can see on the back here that it actually says it's a craft sketchbook. Although I said that I was kind of hoping for a darker journal, I totally understand why they chose not to do that because the last two subscription boxes have included dot grid journals and one was just a different size. I understand why they chose not to do a dot grid for this, although it's the A5 size. Wow, oh, my, oh whoa, it always smells so nice. Okay, this is so beautiful. I actually just got shoes with this exact color. If you guys have been watching my videos, you guys know that. So it matches perfectly well with my new Jordans. I think this is so pretty. This is a different type of leather too than the previous faux leather notebooks. It's very smooth and I, I don't know how to describe it, but it just feels very matte and very smooth. It's 160 pages. It's a craft sketchbook and the design on the cover is mountains with some stars and a moon. It's really pretty. Okay, let's just see that. I've never tried like their craft paper before actually, so I'm really excited to try this. So when you open it up, it says, oh wow. Wait, craft paper, guys. So since this is a sketchbook, it actually comes with blank pages, which is so cool. This is definitely more of like an art notebook than a journaling notebook. Or if you just, if you don't want the lines or the dots, then you can use this for journaling too. But I actually really love this. I think it's really, really pretty. This makes me want to actually draw and well, it's a sketchbook, so of course, but I'm, I really appreciate that they added this because it's gonna push me outside of my comfort zone with my bullet journaling and my art. I don't even consider myself artistic, but I feel really excited to use this. Okay, let's see how it looks with the cover on it just to test it out. I think if you put the back flap in the, oh, okay. And then let's just tuck in the thing there. Here's how the cover looks when you have an A5 journal in it. You just have to make sure that the ribbon's gone, but it closes, it feels very tight and not too tight where it's like uncomfortable, but it's just really beautiful. I think this is perfect for traveling because I get scared sometimes traveling with my art journal all of notebooks because I don't want the gold foil to like rub on anything or scratch off. So I think this is actually really, really perfect because I wasn't a fan of the clear ones, the plastic ones. So this leather one feels a lot more luxurious. This is just so cute. I love it. I absolutely love everything. Okay, well that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed unboxing the Archer and Olive third subscription box with me. I think this is definitely, I think the theme of the last one just like totally took my breath away with like the cotton candy clouds and the hot air balloons and the watercolor, everything. I think that one still is my favorite, but this is really very equal to me. I think overall these products, like I said, they're not just bullet journal products, but they're also a lot of products that you can just use in your everyday life. So I appreciate that each subscription box is switching it up and trying to give you more value with each box. Box, hopefully keeping in mind that a lot of us are returning subscribers of the box so I'm really excited 
I think I'm most excited about the washi tape, honestly. I just think that they're gorgeous designs and I cannot wait to use the washi tape. If you guys got the subscription box, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know what your favorite item was. Or if you didn't get it and you just watched me unbox it all, what was your favorite item? I would love to know. And yeah, I guess that's it for today's video. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video, but until then, I miss you already.